Welcome back into Sports Drive. Once again, I'm your host, Preston Moore. Mentioned we're going to talk a little bit of coaching changes. There's been plenty across the panhandle, been one of the busiest uh, coaching carousels that we've seen in years um, beyond, you know, all, all kinds of different sports, football, baseball, soccer, some things still yet to be, you know, still some positions still yet to be filled um, even. So there have been a lot of openings. One of them uh, right now is the Paladero boys basketball team, Coach Jeff Evans leaving. We have a full sit-down interview with him on newschannel10.com. But that being said, uh, one of the positions that was recently filled at Paladero was the girls' soccer position, and right now we have the man filling that position. It's Coach Sean Massey. Coach, how are you doing today? Great. Just enjoying the day off. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, I want to ask, you were the uh, boys' soccer coach for this last year. You were co-coaching uh, with Coach McLaughlin. Now you're going over and you're getting to stay at Paladero and be the head coach of the girls' soccer team. Now, I talked to you uh, about a month ago, a couple months ago, and you weren't mm -hmm. expecting to be able to stay at Paladero. So what does it mean to have the opportunity to do that, not only to do that, but to do that and coach soccer? Well, I think it it's one less transition you have to do. Um, I thought... I would be going back to my middle school and it when this job opened up i was told about it applied and it uh, i think it will help because i've got to know some of the young ladies that play on the team and um really just not having to do another change yeah yeah absolutely well you know, uh, while you were at Paladero this past year, you guys had a very successful season uh, going 20 and 3 overall, is what I have on, on Max Preps here. Uh, you yes. and Coach McLaughlin obviously did really well as co coaches, uh, but what will, you know, what does it look like to go from co coaches to just the singular coach where now you are the only, you are the head coach? There's no co coaching mm -hmm. anymore. You're the yep. head coach of the girls' soccer team. What's that going to look like, and how are you going to make sure? that you carry the success you had with the boys team over mm -hmm. into the girls team? Well, I think, you know, like we've talked about, you know, last year was just a really unique situation. And, you know, this year's just more, you know, one coach has left and another coach has come in um, and it will, it'll start on, you know, day one when we get to school the first day. And I think, you know, I've, coached in club soccer now for for 19 years so this will just be more of an opportunity for it to be you know my project or you know my baby some, something similar to that but uh i'm i'm looking forward to it what are what are some goals uh that you have going into this season uh coaching the girls team now well, I think first thing we we want to compete. Um, obviously, we uh, you know four out of the five teams make the playoffs, so we want to try to finish as high up the table as possible. But I think before we get to all that, it'll just be getting to meet the players, getting to know them. They get to know me. Uh, I really don't know them all that well other than just you know seeing them in the hallways and having a laugh with them here or there but um it'll it'll really just be from the get-go uh let's just get you know comfortable with each other they've never seen me or really had me as a coach and i've never you know coached them in any soccer form right what do you think when, when you look back at this season with the boys team again you guys were really successful what sort of you know coaching practices philosophies anything that you guys did that you think led to that success uh that you want to bring over to the girls team if there are there any yeah. well i think first thing is we did a really good job of keeping things simple um i know there's a quote out there that somebody a long time ago said coaches do a great job of making things complicated <laughs> so my goal is to not do that as as much as possible um but you know that that boys team they they just they just had so many good players uh you know Jaime Carrillo the hundreds of goals he scored in the four years that he was there I uh, actually just talked to him yesterday he's heading down south to 
start playing in some of the uh, semi-pro leagues that'll help get him prepared for his journey to D1 soccer. And uh, that that team, they were just a little bit of a juggernaut, you know. So, but but mainly to, to answer your question, just 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 keep things simple from day one. You mentioned uh, a few times how, you know, first and foremost, you want to make sure that you get to know the girls on the team, that you get to establish that relationship. How important is that to you, you know, to make sure that off the field, you guys are as airtight as you are on the field? Yeah, I think the the young ladies will have to know I'm, I'm, I'm here for them to help them however I can. And uh, not only to be successful on the field, but off the field. And, you know, someday soccer is going to end and we want to make sure they are successful uh, young ladies and, you know, they, they get their education, they, they learn what they need to learn and, and they're ready to go when they finish high school with, with whatever they're going to do in the real world. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Coach, one more question for you before I let you go. Uh, I just want to ask you real real plain and simple. This is something mm-hmm. that I asked, you know, my last uh, guest, Coach Proc of West Texas A&M Women's Basketball. I just kind of asked him, what's your coaching philosophy? Because it's something that all coaches have one, and I think all coaches want to make sure that they can implement it as best they can. And, and in your case, heading on to a new team, you know, I think it's mm-hmm. extra important that you can establish you know, what your philosophy is uh, day one. So what is your coaching philosophy going into this new program? Oh, man, you kind of put me on the spot there. You know, I don't know if I've ever had one written down, but uh, I think that soccer, there there's principles of play. Uh, we're going to try to identify the style we want to play and that we want to stick to that. And as, as far as our philosophy, it's just, uh, I think really my philosophy growing up is I will never give up on a player. I will give a player every opportunity. And, you know, when you get a 14 year old freshman coming in to an 18 year old senior, there's, there's going to be a lot of maturity and a lot of growth and, uh, you know, just over the years at the at the club level, you know, I've had some players that, you know, if they're playing maybe for somebody else or another team, that that coach probably cuts them. And I just I just believe my job in soccer is to make players better. So as long as the player's going to show up, I'm going to show up and do everything I can to help that player be successful. Absolutely. Well. Uh, thank you once again for joining Coach Massey. Excited for this next right. season of Paladero Soccer. Excited that you get to stay with the Dons, and we're excited to see what you do with the Lady Dons uh, this upcoming season. Coach Massey, thank you for joining once again. You bet, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more Sports Drive right after the break. Stick around. <laughs> 